In this video, I'm gonna share with you three exact methods to find qualified e-commerce brands for your social media marketing agency. These exact proven methods are the byproduct of me putting my head down for two plus years, trying pretty much every single method out there and distilling it only to a hand few. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to save those countless hours and be able to implement this on your agency to start getting incredible results. So I would say that it's a pretty good investment of a few minutes of your time. And with that being said, let's go right into the video. Now, the first method involves using LinkedIn. LinkedIn is by far one of the best platforms, especially for the B2B space, which is the space that we're operating in as social media marketing agency owners. However, a lot of people struggle to find e-commerce leads within LinkedIn. And the reason why that is, is because on LinkedIn, you can search for e-commerce. E-commerce is not a sector, it's not a niche that they have available on LinkedIn. And so for that very specific reason, a lot of people find it really, really tough to find e-commerce leads and they completely disregard LinkedIn, which is a massive, massive mistake. LinkedIn has been one of the platforms where I've had most success and I definitely believe you can too. Now, the first thing you need to understand with LinkedIn is that there's a lot of social selling in both and that can be a really good thing or a really bad thing. And the really bad is usually caused by a poor profile. They're really good. Well, if you have a really good profile, then you can use that to establish rapport, build social proof and establish authority. A few quick tips on building a high quality LinkedIn profile is number one, make sure you have a banner in place. Usually in the banner, I like to put my agency mission, what I do, and maybe a little quote that I resonate with and that I can use to establish rapport with other prospects. The second thing is the headline. You want to make sure that you put CEO, founder of whatever your agency name is. And then after that, you want to make sure that you include your mission on the headline. It should be very, very clear. The prospects should have a clear idea as to what you actually do and what you can help them accomplish. The third thing you want to make sure you have in place is a really good description. What I like to do for my descriptions is number one, establish the problem, shine a light on the problem that most people in your space have and the problem that you aim to solve. The second thing is shine a light on the consequences of that problem and the benefits of solving that problem. And the third thing is propose a solution. And when you propose a solution, you should definitely include a call to action to, for example, book a call or watch a case study or whatever you have in place for your sales fund. The fourth thing is you want to make sure you've listed all your skills and ideally you want to have them endorsed. That gives you a lot of social proof. If you get a lot of endorsements, which is really not a hard thing to do using value arbitrage, that would really help you boost your social proof. And the final thing is your experience and you should definitely link your company page, which should be your social media marketing agency as a LinkedIn page. You should definitely link that. It makes the agency way more professional. So those are some quick pointers on the profile, but how about finding the leads? And the thing about e-commerce that I've been pushing so much on my videos is that you need to make sure you pick a sub niche. Not only is it going to help you differentiate yourself from other agencies, but it's also going to help you get a massive edge right from the start because you can learn a lot about that specific sub niche and speak the prospects language much, much quicker. And so let's just say that you've picked the sub niche apparel and fashion, or for example, you've picked tech, right? Great thing about LinkedIn, especially if you have sales navigator, but you can also do this with a basic plan. The great thing is you get a free trial for sales nav. And so you can try it out and see how it benefits you and your agency. And, and you actually get a full month for free. But let's just say that your sub niche is apparel and fashion, or let's just say you've picked tech. You can actually target those spaces on LinkedIn. So let's just say you put your targeting as apparel and fashion space, right? Or let's just say that you set your niche when you're searching for leads on LinkedIn, which you can do with the search function. Let's just say that you set that for consumer or electronic goods. Now, the great thing that a a lot of people completely neglect is the fact that most fashion brands, most consumer goods companies have a, an e-commerce side to their business. They're selling online. And so you can literally get 200, 300 qualified prospects in one single list. I'm talking CEOs or CMOs, whatever you're reaching out to in that specific sub niche. And it will literally take you one, two, three, four, five minutes to go through that list and delete the ones that do not look like e-commerce sites. And so that's my personal recommendation for LinkedIn. It absolutely works wonders, but the key is to initially have that sub niche and narrow down within LinkedIn, within your search function. So that is LinkedIn. And now on to the next method. The next method is all about searching for not leads, but searching for that like button and just smashing the like button. It will help sort of down with the algorithm and it keeps me motivated to create these videos because at the end of the day, I run my business and uh, putting these videos together definitely take quite a lot of time. And so I really, really appreciate it if you're enjoying the video so far. And uh, with that being said, let's go right into the second point. Now, for the second point, we are going to be using Instagram. And Instagram is such a powerful method as well, simply because it has incredible search functions. And most brands that you see out there, most e-commerce brands, are on Instagram. It is an absolutely must platform, which doesn't really happen on LinkedIn as much. So the great thing about LinkedIn is that you have a lot more search functions for leads within that company. But when it comes to finding brands, Instagram pretty much reigns supreme. And so what you're going to do with Instagram is you're going to get your phone, 
here's my phone and you're gonna get your phone and you are gonna hop on Instagram and so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and use a search function the reason why we're using a search function is because we just have to find one single lead to then go into the second method which is the rabbit hole method and so the two search functions that I like to use is number one the hashtag function and number two is the place function. Now, the search function is all about getting crystal clear on the exhibitions, expos, and big events around your sub niche. Now, this search function works amazingly well, but with the current social landscape, not a lot of people are throwing events or exhibitions. And so right now in 2020 is probably not the best idea. So I found that the hashtag method right now is the best method to use. So let's just assume that you are doing nutrition within the e-com space. And uh, for this round of leads that you're collecting, you're gonna do vegan brands and so what you're gonna do I'm gonna be very very uncreative in this video I'm literally gonna type in vegan brands on Instagram and I'm gonna get a bunch of different brands now I'm just gonna pretend that I'm doing this but I'm actually using an old uh, screen recording from a previous video but don't come on me because I thought it fitted perfectly for the context of this video and I can give a few more cents on this one method on this video as well which relates to finding e-commerce brands so I'm just gonna go ahead and pretend that we just find an, a vegan brand and so we're literally gonna type vegan brand and then we're gonna get a bunch of brands uh, on our screen and what you're gonna do then is you're gonna pick one brand that pops up go ahead and visit the profile and that is that for the search function because all we needed is to find one single brand what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use the Instagram algorithm in our favor and we are gonna go down the rabbit hole which Instagram is so great at doing and, and really any social media platform right they just get you through this entry and you go down a massive rabbit hole right YouTube is also great at doing this and so we're gonna click on recommended profiles and then we're gonna look at all the recommended profiles that have very close affinity to the brand we just found. And this is an amazing method and works particularly good for brands that are between 5K to around 70K, uh, 70,000 followers on Instagram. That's actually where the algorithm recommends the profiles with most similarities. When you get you know, into the 200K, into the even a million, you get really weird recommendations. Like for example, if you get Adidas, then you're gonna be recommended you know, Lionel Messi or Louis Vuitton or Cristiano Ronaldo, right? And that is absolutely not related to the specific niche that we started with. And so that is the Instagram method. It's an amazing method. And what you want to do once you found those brands is number one, they should be following the founder, right? So you want to make sure that you reach out to the founder or the decision maker. Uh, it's very, very important that you do not reach out to the brand directly because the brand is usually managed by another agency and it's not in their interest to answer your uh, message. So it's really, really important to find the founder and if you can't find the founder, then LinkedIn is a great method to find the founder. You literally just type the brand on the search function, then you go on people, and then you will find the founder or the CEO listed. So that is that for the second method, and now to the final method. Now, the final method is the software method. And here's where you can go down the paid route or just completely the free route. Now for the free route, you can use softwares like, for example, hunter.io. It's a pretty popular Chrome extension. And what you wanna do first is find brands using product discovery platforms. So you literally find blogs, magazines that make lists with the top whatever products in your specific sub niche and then you're gonna get a bunch of different leads within that space. What you're gonna do then is you're gonna use hunter.io to get the email address from the decision maker of the host of that page as shown on screen right now. And the second route is obviously the paid method. I'm gonna leave the software that I use in the description and basically that software, you can actually search using a database. So you can search with Boolean search, you can search uh, using names and you can actually use their own database, find leads within your specific sub niche within e-commerce, which is absolutely great because instead of going out and finding the leads, you just put a bunch of search criteria and then it populates the list with the leads that you're looking for. So my friends, those are the three proven methods of finding qualified e-commerce leads. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you can take some of the strategies and apply them straight away into your own e-commerce agency. If you enjoyed this video, as always, go ahead and drop a big, big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also leave down below any questions, any comments you may have on this video and I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't subbed to my channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship and a 360 approach to social media marketing agency with a specific focus on e-commerce marketing agency, sales and outreach. So if you don't wanna miss any of that, go ahead and sub to my channel. And the final thing, and I'm done plugging, if you haven't checked out my free Facebook mastermind, The Client Closers, it's an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to scale their agency and level up in life. It's an incredible, incredible community. I'm going live there for Ask Me Anything. It's just revealing secrets that I don't reveal anywhere else. I'm doing live interviews with top, top performers in the industry and even free live training. So if you don't want to miss any of that, go ahead and check out the link in the description. Go ahead and apply. And if you're a good fit, we will let you in. And as always, guys, hope everything is going well in your agency journey. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.